We are back, and uh, it's been an interesting three games, and we're playing a new system again. But we might have just won the last game four one. It's our first one. <sighs> yeah. This grab is keeping my name is Tom Quick. I'm back to a slightly stressed out version of the journeyman. <laughs> So hi, welcome. The last time we were here, it was the Espanol game where we drew 1-1. Now I said I didn't realise going into the Monaco game, which we'll get to last, um, that we had actually drawn our previous five games. So, Norse, we drew 0-0. Now, now we were pretty poor. We actually picked up two first half injuries, but they weren't like long term, just on the day. They had to kind of come off. Um, it was uh, Alvarez and... I don't know who else. Somebody else put them in, but they went out like for the next game. They were back. Where we drew 1 1 with Hav. I'm going to come Hav or Hav. Uh, they actually took the lead first, but Rodolfo Fernandez with a looping header over the goalkeeper got us the draw in that game. Again, really poor. But then Monaco came and we decided to change our shape because we actually changed it during this game. We got the goal back and I thought, well, let's try it. Because the fans wanted to attack in football, and by God, did we do so. Four goals for Pontus uh, on the 12th, 26th, 46th, and 64th minute. Uh, I think uh, Palestri got three assists during the game. Uh, it was a fantastic result. Then, of course, we let one go in by Dennis Zakaria. Our much maligned Ryan Cherky. Uh, he, we criticised his form, and he has pretty much... Um, Agreed to a target where he has to get a rating of 7, just a 7, 7.0, to basically guarantee his place long term at the club. He's been poor, we need to rectify that. So this is our team for today. Mbok has got the cold or the flu, so we sent him home, so he won't be featuring today. He's been playing pretty well. But it's Jakosha and goals, or back four of Monterize, Abdelmanon, Abdelmanem. I'm going to get that right at some point. Diamande and Alvarez, Rabio and Maxence will continue their little pairing in the middle of the park, which I'm enjoying. Palestri, Fernandez, and Cherke will be the attacking mids. And Pontus up front after scoring four goals can't really drop them. We also uh, have no real options to replace them because our team's pish. So yeah, we've done that. We've got a lot of our young players listed for loan. We are trying to just prepare ourselves for January. Um, oh, in that cup game where I really wanted us to get a easy team in the ninth round, we have Mercy. So that is a not what's hoping for, but we will just do what we can. Board are a bit disappointed that we're not like, getting mid table at the moment because we're all kind of projected now to like being this relegation battle we're in. If we play we did against Monaco, we'll have absolutely no issue hitting mid table, none whatsoever. Um, I think this is either a f I know we've got games in Europe right up till January now. I need to remember that for the new system. I'm not fully used to the new league setup in the European football yet. In the continental competitions, as usual, we are the team in white. We are playing. Sporting Lisbon, who are playing in black and... I'm going to call it shitty brown. I don't really know what colour brown that is. Is it brown? It's like a can of, like, Coke Zero No Caffeine or some fucking shit. Or Coke Vanilla. Uh, anyway, I'm just confused with life at the moment, to be honest. Do I have audio and am I actually recording? Yes to both. Fantastic. Again, Europe is kind of just a sideshow for me at the moment. I'm not really bothered by it. But what it is letting me do is get fitness up for some players, I guess. Guys like Monterezio have just come back from injury and we're still trying to get their match fitness up. And I guess as testing against good teams to see if the styles of play we're trying, to, <laughs> we're trying out actually works. We're now playing a vertical tiki tacker, I believe it is. Fuck knows, it's probably a more aggressive version of the control possession I was trying to play before. 
The the fans weren't happy we weren't playing attacking football. But what I will say is we got our five draws, right? So we, we, we kind of solidified our defence that little bit. Yes, we still give away stupid goals. We still will. We're not perfect and we don't have a good goalkeeper. But we solidified that. Then once you've got a bit of belief in the defence and their kind of form up, um, we focused then on trying to improve the attack. I think Rabio and Max Ons are actually finding them as a decent partnership in the middle is it went a long way because we know that Lauser and Maxons don't play well together, especially in the roles that we're trying to play them in. Um, to be fair, it's the same way that Mbok and Plesti apparently don't, but to be playing fine together. But anyway, it's not the point. We have both of these guys until the end of this. Well, both of the guys that we're playing are currently the uh, <coughs> guys that we are actually members of our team and not on loan, but one of them is out of contract in the summer and we probably won't renew... I might try and renew, actually, that's a lie. Rabio's contract's up in the summer, and as things... Oh, Jesus Christ, Jakosha, how the fuck did you let that go near so close to going over the line? How? Look! Fucking hell. That is so close. Um, But yeah, so... Uh, they're kind of recommending not renewing his contracts, as they have, like, the required ability. But... He's kind of been okay for us, and arguably one of our better midfielders. So even if we could have him as like a backup option on a maybe a lower wage than he's currently on, I don't actually know what his wage is, but if we could get him and say 20 grand a week, 25 grand a week, I don't know what he's on currently, but something around that, or even just a significant chunk of what he's currently earning, it might not be the worst option to have that experienced head just in the squad that we can bring in and maybe settle games down. Which he's essentially done. He's, he's basically come in to settle games down for us and just take control of our midfield, which is frustrating because our two other centre mids are experienced players, but they just seem to not be doing it. And one of them is our captain. I'm not liking the fact that Fernandez is hurt with a twisted knee. We will make that change. Uh, Trebelzi? Tri yeah, Trebelzi will be the one that comes on. Just a kind of like for like change. Although Trebelzi is probably more of a striker, so he might actually offer more of a goal threat. I'm really enjoying Alvarez uh, as a left back at the moment, which is quite good for us. But we have put, like seen one or two players who we'd love to sign. One, we've been talking about like twelve million for him. Probably not realistic unless we get a big sell. Um, he's a left back, but there's been a couple of other players that we have seen as kind of interesting, mate, in one way or another. Be it a like a backup option for up front, which isn't really what we need, but it looks like a good prospect. Or there was a winger as well, we seen, but I think again we're talking about like seven, eight million, which realistically I don't really have. I think we've got like a transfer budget of like six million and a wage budget like excess of like 17,000 a week. It's not enough for us to even bring in one player, never mind two. So right now I'm, I'm still going to have to make sales or sales in January. The problem's going to be who, I think. Uh, I know that there's interest in Monterizzi. I know there's interest in Maxence. Both of them are older-ish players, I guess. Monterizzi's only 28. Maxence is 30 off the top of my head. So they might... Maxence generally might be the better one to go, but he is club captain as well. And he is playing decent. Talking about the game so far, looks like Sporting really should be ahead and we're not creating much today, which is a concern. So if we don't, we're not going to win if we don't shoot. So yeah, but let's be honest, we're not doing enough. Um, but we know the fact, we have had an injury, so that could have maybe rocked things a little. But our wide players aren't getting involved enough. Pontus is having a really poor game, which makes me wonder what's going on up there. But... Again, Maeda's not an option, really. I, I don't ever see Maeda being a goal-scoring option for us. Pontes is apparently just going to score in patches, so... Or score, like, maybe two a game and then not score for, like, five games. The club needs major surgery on, on the squad. I think that much has become clear. Like, but the thing is, like, when we say criticising our defenders, like, I'm actually quite happy with our centre-back options. I don't think any of them are bad. Um, I think we could just do with, like, one or two, like quality quality players because the rest are fine it's like good players for where we are but I still feel we need like one or two guys to just be first choice in there which we just don't really have um, I think that's probably the biggest issue for me right we do need to make some changes though because this isn't going anywhere uh, Maeda or a youth I 
it's really bad that I'm generally considering him. Well, let's bring on Maeda. He is a first team player. It's probably better in this situation. Um, Alvarez is looking a bit tired, so I probably should bring on Terzic. He'll play as a win back on support. Let's bring on Lousa, who can play that deep line playmaker role. So that's a like for a late change. It leaves with one more change we can make. So we'll just keep an eye on that just now. After making this treble change. Cherky loses out. Probably going to lose a goal here. Right, Strakosha actually used his body to stop the ball for the change. So that's good. Cherky's having a really poor game. Again. I think we're just going to have to accept that he's going to have to go. He's on a really high wage. You probably get a really good transfer fee for him. And that could really help us start to rebuild this team. One thing I actually am kind of keen to do, because the club want it to an extent as well, is developing some of the players. So guys like Mbok, uh, Fernandez, Chabelsi, who have, I think, came through the youth system, all of them, but if not, they've been bought young, the ones who maybe haven't out of those three. Uh, the players like that, I kind of do want to just keep in the squad, try to keep developing them. So if we've got players like that that we can bring in, I probably will look to do so. Uh, Bernson's going to come on. Really, it could have been Cherky or Plessy that came off, but we don't really have a good right option. We do have Ndai, but I'm not a fan of his at all. Uh, yeah, please mark him. Lewis has come on and done okay. Monterisi's doing okay at right back, but I think he's going to be too knackered now to play the next game. So I'm hoping... That Mbok will be back. Uh, Rabio's looking tired, so we're going to have to hope we have somebody that can come in. Lousa did okay. Uh, yeah, play set pieces. Don't know why the game suddenly got a bit jittery. Something's going on in my PC in the background that I don't know about. Four minutes added time. We've definitely played better since we made those changes. We've started creating a lot more chances. Um, which is good. Bernson. Go on, son. Unlucky. Bernson's another one who I think I'm going to just persevere with uh, as a squad option because I kind of like him. Another guy, if we can develop him up. Doesn't he become a superstar, but develop him up to be a squad option... Or a guy we can sell for a couple of million? Like, yeah, that's exactly what we need. So, especially if we're going to always be a situation where we have to sell before we buy, because my next season's uh, guaranteed transfer budget is zero. It is literally zero. Um, I've seen that. I'll show you after this, but it was zero last time I looked. So, that is a bit of a problem. Uh, I have to sympathise, actually. I'm going to sympathise. Had a lovely 4-1 win. A draw with Sporting Lisbon isn't the end of the world. Um, we weren't qualifying from here. We knew that. But we still actually could. Fuck. We still could qualify from here, actually. Um, how long is Fernandez out for? Twisted knee, so a week. That's fine. Uh, criticize. Uh, if we keep playing, team guys start scoring. Glad you're working hard. Blah, blah, blah. Received another bit of money. I hate when this happens. Oops. There we go. Uh, next season's minimum guaranteed budget will be zero. You can't see because of my face. But yeah, look. So if that's the case, we're always going to have to sell to buy. Oh, we've got an England a week left. Why have we got an England a week left? How did I get to sign a new deal? Somebody must have. Meh. It don't matter. Uh, let's get my face back. Hello. Um... Yeah, so join us in a couple of in game days where we will take on FC Lorient. Parlez vous Francais, mon ami. So we're back for the second game, and I just found out I'm actually losing the dressing room already. It was in the press conference. They asked me, like, oh, how do you feel about the fact that despite results, something, uh, the despite um, squad harmony, you are like, losing the dressing room? I'm like, am I? So I was like, wait, the hierarchy, and I was like, Oh, shit. Uh, I'm feeling to impress a number of the players with your performance as manager. Uh, okay. 
So they're just, and I, I actually didn't read that there, so they're just, uh, it may be early days, but the players are going to take some convincing to get past your lack of experience. Fair, I guess. But I have managed for 318 games. I have won leagues. Maybe just not the leagues they want me to win, but I have won leagues. Um, but yeah. Fun. So this is our team for today. Shakosha is in goals. Mbok comes back in at right back with Abdelmanem and Diamandi still the centre half with Alvarez keeping on as a left back. Midfield two of Rabio and Maxence. Palestri to Trebelsi replacing injured Fernandez and Cherky, and then Pontus again leading the line. Can we beat the seventh in the table, Lorient? I am apologise to anyone who is French or French speaking, or just annoyed by me really failing with French pronunciation so far. I will try my goddamn hardest to get these right at some point. Can at the very least our unbeaten run continue? Because that'd be good. We're going into the winter break after this anyway, so there's going to be a rest for the players. Probably gives me a bit more time to decide on who we're going to try and punt, who we're going to keep. Where we're going to try and strengthen the team. Um, I have ideas of what it might be like, where and stuff, but in terms of the type of players, we know the six positions we've talked about it, but there's essentially six positions I feel like we need strengthening. Um, whether that's six players or more is a different matter, but I, yeah, definitely feel like we need a goalkeeper, we need a striker, even if it's just on loan to the end of the season, we need somebody who can score goals. That would be nice. And what was the other one I said? Was that a right back? I should remember this. I, I make notes of things. Uh, it was a right back, yeah. But I'm actually not too upset with right back at the moment with Mbok. It's a penalty. Um, so I actually might look at centre mid more than anything else. I really need somebody who can take the strain off of Rabio. Why is our centre half hitting the fucking penalty? We have a set-piece coach, and they decide who hits for free kicks, corners, penalties, and all sorts. Why is he, Abdelmanem, hitting the penalty? Why didn't I notice that till it was too late and I could have changed the bloody taker? Fuck's sake. Let's not let this one mistake put it down. That's at least a booking, no? I'll take it. It wasn't booked. Like Diamande. Gaston. Cherke. Trebelsi. Cherke. Oh, go on, Pontus! The flag stayed down. What a goal. That's a break we wanted in the counter attacking style that didn't work. But Trebelsi here does really well. Cherke with a good run. What we've been looking for. First time ball across. Pontus. Great finish, actually. We might have missed the penalty, but we are 1 0 up now. QRM are beating Nice, which I didn't want to see. Alvarez with the throw. Cherky will need to stop performing. So if this is him putting in a performance for the winter break. Oh, unlucky. Um, yeah. If he's finally going to hit about a form, I'll take it. Just need to hope it picks up when we come back. I always thought that Haver was Harv for some reason. Hav, Havre. I actually, one of my Twitch mods, yes, I do stream over on Twitch, not playing foot manager, is actually a Frenchman. Let me ask him how to pronounce some of these teams. Because <laughs> I am struggling. I said, this is a part of France comes from. This might be his local team I'm managing this, for all I know. Abdelmanem. Trebelsi. Yeah, Fernandez and Chobels, I think actually I'm going to give them a go as number 10. Um, and it's a position we'll probably strengthen with a genuine first choice in the summer. But I want this chat. Oh, you fucking nugget. Please be a free kick and not a penalty. Good. Um, like I said, I do want to... Start actually doing what the club wants, so using our youth facilities, try to develop these players, and there's like three or four who are definitely in that thing, so Mbok, Fernandez, Trebelsi, um, fuck, who's the other one? Anderson was another who I actually quite like to look off, so things like that um, are definitely ones to keep an eye on, I think. 
Good. Oh, God. Right. Abdelmanem's having a really poor game, even though he's not the one that gave away the penalty. But he did miss a though. Both for centre halves are involved in almost penalties of some capacity. Strakosha was already on the floor, probably because he's an old man and was sleeping, but he did catch the ball. We're going to have to make a change, I think, at half time. I'm not convinced at all that Abdelmanem is going to be able to shake missing that penalty, but lots of things. Cherokee doing really well there, actually. Doing what I wanted me to be doing. Trebelsi, give it back to him. He hits it! Oh, unlucky. That was a good bit of play, though. We're starting to really click into gear a little bit, and I'm liking it. Maybe did just take us going on that run, not losing games, just picking up point, and then a point, just picking them up. I guess maybe try to get a bit of belief back in the team, and then pick up that big win over Monaco, a draw against Sport, and then a potential win here would actually set us up quite nicely for the winter break. Rabiot. Plestry, can you score it, son? Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. I'm going to make three changes at halftime as things stand. Both centre-halves and Maxons because he is on a booking and I don't want to go down to ten men. Truth be told, I do not want to go down to ten men. Right, okay, let's settle the fuck down. Uh, I'm actually happy with how we've dominated the play, but we're going to make a couple of changes. Monterezzi will come in. You're not putting as a wide centre-back when you're the only two centre-half, so you're going to come in. Ferreira will come in. I think centre-back defend, that works for me. So, centre defend, defend. Lauser comes in. Straight swap with Maxence. Three changes, everything else is looking good. Rabio's looking tired, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Anderson will probably need to come in as a ball winner midfielder to replace him, I think. But three changes at half time. One for performance, two because I don't want to go down to ten men. If we can help it, so. And it's not that. I was going to say it's not necessarily that I don't trust him, but. The tackle that Diamande put in is one that I could easily see him doing it again. And I just don't want to take the risk. Just now. Come on, Alvarez. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle, Cherky. Ferreira. Back to Chakosha. Give it to anyone but him for fuck's sake, Ferreira. Loser, Chakosha. Oh, I need a new goalkeeper or something terrible. Oh, thank God he missed that. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Yeah. There, that much better. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Good bit of play. Should have probably gave him it back. Pointless for the header. Cherokee. Oh, unlucky. Probably a poor decision there from Chabelsi, but you know what? I'm not going to be too annoyed at him for that. The team's finally... For this game at least, some players are finally clicking. Giving me that bit of hope. Um, I'm glad to see him back. back. He's doing okay again. I think he could be... See if he's a dependable like 6.9... Between, I say, a 6.7 and like a 7 every game. I'm more than happy keeping him his right back. I don't need every player to be spectacular. I just need players right now to be dependable. Especially if we're going to build a squad to go up the league. In terms of fin position and build towards getting that kind of regular Champions League spot. I need dependable players to build on. And uh, he could be one of them if he keeps us up. Nothing spectacular. Ugly, not even that great a right back, but dependable. Cherky, please, son. Oh, unlucky. I'm saying, son, you're probably older than me. Uh, let's have a look. Again, I'm kind of worried about the fitness of Rabio. We're going to an international break. So I'm being tired for the next game isn't the issue. It's more I don't want us to pick up another injury for anybody. Because I think any long-term injuries could leave us fucked, especially in the centre of midfield just now. Um, I may have to look at that for a couple of loans, I think, for a couple of positions. Um, Anderson's going to come on for Rabio. Ball winner, midfielder, defend. <laughs> Brennan Bertson. Going to swap Cherokee's side. I'm hoping it won't affect them too much. Uh, 
but if it does, I'll take blame on that one. Now, there's the last two changes. Now it's just a hope for the best. As much as I'm saying I do want, like, so we're talking about January just now, so I do want, like, a new first-choice goalkeeper. I did say I wanted a first-choice straight-back, I'm not too bored about that now, but I've got a first-choice striker. I understand that generally might not be, like, a first-choice goalkeeper until, say, the summer. And I, I get that, especially, maybe on a permanent, maybe like a loan, but on a permanent, we, we possibly won't be able to. Good tackle! Whoever that was just threw himself in it. I think that was uh, loser, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Inbox now. He's not the best cross in the world, but if you can get it in the box, it's a bonus. Bertson's there! Bertson was the other boy, the youngster that I couldn't remember his name of. 2-0. Great performance. But yeah. So we may have to look at loans. And then this is said centre-backs, but I'm actually quite happy with centre-backs that we've got. So I don't think we need that now for January. So we're going to have to take that off the list. Um, definitely still need a centre mid. I'm going to take attacking mid off the list for January. So that's four positions in. I think four positions might be doable. But we can only make three changes for Europe if we qualify. Which I don't think we will. And it is not my main objective. I'm hoping another performance like this might get the players to like me a little bit more. What I'm really happy about though is a Cherokee 7.5 performance. Is what I like. Can we just not do what we're doing? Yeah, thanks. I understand why we're playing like we are at the defence, but Strakosha gives me the fear. And Bok using his pace there, pick up that loose ball. Trebelsius had a really good game, actually. I've quite liked how well he's linked up play. Considering he's definitely more of a... <gasps> Pontus is unlucky there. He's definitely more of a, a striker. I think his favourite role is actually as a number 10. A striker, sorry, but as a, a Czech artista or a false nine. So he's not... Well, I guess he's a bit of a playmaker then. But he's definitely not as much of that attacking midfielder that we're asking him to be compared to Fernandez. But he's actually done fine. He's got six point six, but I'm not going to agree with that. I think that's a maybe a false rating as such. I think he's played better than he's shown now. But again, Alvarez and Embok are definitely definitely performing at fullback for me. Um, which you know, absolutely fucking delighted with. Um. Anderson's done pretty well, apparently, according to the match rating since he came on, which is good to see. He's another one I need to try and figure out what I'm going to do with him, if he is one that we can develop, or if he's one that we just look to move on. I think we signed Anderson, or I could be wrong. Two now going into the winter break now. Loving it. Last two league games, we have won... We've now been unbeaten for seven in the league. Is it seven altogether or eight altogether now? Uh, we're all decent. Blah, blah, blah. We promised we have a moment with the far crumble. Uh, bit of lava. It's always going to start well because we are. So after 18 games, it gives us 20 points now, which honestly, it's five points clear from the player spot and the relegation zone. We're starting to climb the table, which is good to see. Two points ahead of Nantes. So, slowly climbing that table now. Uh, we actually play Marseille in our next competitive game, which is in the Cup. Um, which we'll probably actually just come back for. It's 20 days away. Excuse me, it's mid-January. Let's have a quick look. Ah. Fuck off. Uh, Unbox is definitely on form. I thought it defensively lost him out. So I said, let's have a look what schedule actually is and will I come back for that. So, oh no, we won't come back for that because that's ages away from the next two games. Why don't we? I'll play the game on the 5th of January, okay, against Marseille. The next game after that looks like it is Newcastle, but I'm going to stick a stab in the dark and say that there's a 10th round. Yeah, so if we beat Marseille, we've actually got a game in the 19th. If we don't beat Marseille... The next game's Newcastle. Let's then come back for the Inter Milan game and the Saint Etienne game. That will give us to the end of January. We'll see if I've done any business in or out. And uh, yeah, 
I mean, since we've came into the club, when did we come into the club? Our first game in charge. So we, our first game in charge was a three 0 defeat against Juventus, and then we've been unbeaten since. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games unbeaten out of nine. Do you know what? I think we'll take that. I would like to think that that's got to be yeah, it's increasing now. Um, I th- you've got to think that's got to be impressing the players now. Completely turned around their form. So before we came in, so the Juventus game we came in, they'd only picked up a win or not even a win. So they one two one two three four five six seven eight. So before that came in, they'd lost eight games out of all the games we played. Out of the nine games we played, we've lost one. Do I think we'll lose more? That's fucking look. Liverpool will probably lose a, quite a few more before the end of the season. But it is what I'm going to describe a good start to life here in France. But uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at the end of January to see what business we've done. If you liked the video, please do leave a thumbs up. It does help me out so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.